Hey Bim, so today I'm gonna be doing the 500 peso Ukai Ukai challenge. The challenge is to go around different Ukai stores with only 500 pesos. It's the equivalent of roughly about $10 and try to find an entire outfit head to toe. So, sama ba yung underwear? No, of course not. Okay. Di ko alam ba? Kasi sabi mo shoes. Including shoes for 500 pesos. Will I make it? I don't know. But that's the challenge. 500 pesos. Only from Ukai Ukai stores. Let's make it happen. Hello, po. Oh, po siya lang sa vlog. Oh, naman. Stick to tayo. But you know what? Kuya Ethan's a part of my life, so there will be no bashing of Ethan today. I shit on you. Pang Valentine's Day, no? Pati malaya yung February 14th. Wala ka pang jowa. Rub it in, Kuya Ethan. Rub it in. I really like the shoe section. Because you walk in and you have like bright colors like this. Yung shoelace combination. You call them like I like this. I actually like this a lot. I'm actually having fun. There's something exciting about being able to like get a bargain. I never go to you know what? And I don't know why. I guess like everybody, you find a style and you kind of get attached to it. But you know, there's nothing wrong with getting out of your comfort shop. Guys, things I'm learning while I'm doing this, it's probably smart to make sure na pag nag kayo. Yung suot mo, it's casual, kasi ano, medyo mahinit naman dito. <laughs> Advice to the wise, na come with a sandal, come comfortably dressed. But at least comfortable ka habang nagsisapin ka. Ooh, corduroy! So that would actually be one uh, 160 190 So to try everything out we don't have exactly a fitting room but more of a fitting box <laughs> Bimba, are you still alive? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 oh, birthday present mo to, ah. <laughs> This one was just for fun. Robbie threw it in the pile. You like pineapples, right? Wait, pineapples? Ay, wow! Ganda! Sakto yung pan! Okay, so one candidate naman. I kind of like the uh, high cut. It kind of shows off the legs. So. Okay, so in terms of color, I kind of like this gray. The fit's nice. You look up. But, um, you know, tight, but it still fits alright. A few moments later. 
Grabe. May tanong ako sa iyo. Sa comment section ng last last vlog, yung lie detector challenge, oh, yeah. hmm. maraming nagtatanong na ano yung pinagod out ko. Oo nga! Flashback. <laughs> okay. Kahit ako yung hirap sa question na ito eh. Um, Nakamoveon ka na ba kay Ryan Chua? Oh my God! <laughs> Bakit? Kaya ako ka ba? Kay Ryan. Um... Pass. End of flashback. So, my question is, I know people were asking you, ano yung answer mo sa kanina? What was my answer? Oh yeah, so um, I, I told them, he made a selection. And he stood for with his friends. So in short, loyal ka sa akin. Um, 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 matagal ha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bim. So, fast forward tayo. I enjoyed my day in the Ukay Ukay store. Just to let you know what happened after that. A couple days have passed and I posted on my Instagram a photo of two different outfits. And I, my caption was, one of these is from an Ukai Ukai store, the other one is not. Can you figure out which it is? Um, a lot of you were guessing right, a lot of you were guessing the one on the left. But I like to pull a fast one on you every now and then. The actual answer is, you're all wrong. And you're all half right. Because it's actually both of them. Both of those outfits that I posted on my Instagram are actually from an Ukai Ukai store. And I guess since the objective of the entire challenge is partially to show you that you can still find great finds from thrift stores, I wore one of the two outfits, this one, to the premiere of Bakwit Boys. Bastion Castro! <laughs> Yes, Bakwit Boys, August 15 to the 21st. Dito DJ ako sa actually world ko, ikaw ah. Let's switch places tayo. So, I just got back from the premiere of Bakwit Boys. I play a radio DJ who fights for some of the main characters to get their music heard. And I'm not gonna give you any more spoilers on that, but I just watched the movie for the first time three hours ago and I enjoyed the execution. I thought it had a lot of heart. You'll hear a lot of beautiful original OPM songs. So if you live in the Philippines, make sure to check that out. That's all for the vlog. I'll let you guys go till next vlog. Next vlog is gonna be about Filipino celebrities who endorse LGBT rights. Till next time. What?